Hey guys, I'm Matt from PSI Conversion, and in this video, we're gonna show you how to determine your rear gear ratio and your tire size. The tools that you're gonna need for this are gonna be a jack, some jack stands, a wheel chalk, some tape, a paint marker, something to mark both your wheel, tire, and your drive shaft. All right, so quickly I'm gonna go over the tire size. This is very important for tuning aspects. It'll get your speedometer calibration right. It'll also affect your shift points if you have an automatic trans. So the main thing we're looking for is the overall diameter of the tire. So if nothing else, you can measure the overall inflated diameter of your tire, but all tires are gonna be marked with their size, whether they're metric or American units. The metric units are gonna consist of three digits, a slash, two digits, an R, and then what size wheel you have them on. American units will usually be a diameter, an X, a width, which is, you know, 9.5 inches, at, for example. So three digits usually. And then again, an R with your wheel size. So to check the gear ratio, the first thing you need to know is that you have a limited slip or an open differential. And if you don't know, what you're gonna do is jack up the whole rear end, throw your car in neutral, wheel chalk, everything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so I got the rear end jacked up. Again, make sure it's in neutral so you can spin the tires. And what you're gonna do is take one tire and do a rotation and watch what the other tire on the other side of the car does. So now that you've done that, you can, if your tire either doesn't spin or it spins in the same direction, you probably have an LSD rear end. If your opposite tire is spinning the other direction than what you spun, so I spun this counterclockwise, if that one was spinning clockwise, you'd have an open. And that's where the process is gonna differ. If you have an LSD, you can leave the rear end fully up in the air. If you have an open, you're gonna wanna put one wheel down and then carry on. So our other tire did not spin. This truck has an LSD, so that is accurate. The next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna take, I'm gonna use the tape and mark our wheel as well as our drive shaft. And then we're gonna spin the wheel one full rotation and count the number of drive shaft turns. Now, if you have an open, like I said, you wanna put the other wheel down and you're gonna to wanna to spin your wheel two full rotations and count your drive shaft turns. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark the differential and the tire. You can mark the tire wherever is easiest to line up and also inside, outside, just as long as you can see the drive shaft and the tire at the same time, you wanna make sure you get one full rotation and you can accurately see the drive shaft. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my tire as I look at the drive shaft. And there we have it. So our gear set is a 342. It spun three and just shy of a half turns. And that's how we know. That's it guys. It's that easy to check your rear gear ratio this way. Thanks for watching the video. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, leave us a comment with any questions or ideas that you have for the future. We'll see you in the next video.